Hello friends how are you all hope you are doing great at various aspects of your lives welcome to another book review podcast by team thinker reviews author wish tamija has attained success in the world of books with his well received crime thriller books that provide entertaining stories that sometimes reflect contemporary event he provides easy to read well conceived plots in a thriller package where the reader keeps guessing about tons of events and characters as they read through to the end we have got a chance to read some of his books like deja karma nothing else matters unlawful justice and more links to those book reviews in the description below recently we added nothing last forever no secret can stay buried to this list of books that we have enjoyed published in 2010 by shrishti publication and this is one of his earlier work based in mumbai in 1990s and early 2000s the setting and characters of the book reflects some events that took place around that time leading to changes in the world of banking and finance and here is our book review of this book on behalf of tim thinker views Let us take a look at the cover page of this book, the gateway to the fictional story explored within. As you can see in the cover page of this podcast, the book cover shows a door is about to be knocked. The word secret is engraved so effectively that it reflects someone is knocking secret to show its face. Very intelligent. Definitely a thoughtful design that goes in sync with the book title. A moderately attractive cover page. that will appeal to the readers of suspense thrillers let us take a bird's eye view of the storyline serena kumar is woken up in a singapore hotel with a phone call informing her of a mishap at home she returns to mumbai to find that her home has been destroyed in a fire and her husband raj kumar died in it Hard broken and grief stricken Serena copes with the police investigation and mourning period with help of her friend Kim. Kim is a gorgeous model and police inspector D Kunhal finds a few clues pointing towards her. But one of Kim's influential friend messages to call off the inquiry against her. Serena continues to work hard and we follow her career path is She completes a successful assignment in Dubai and then gets promoted at her bank in Mumbai. Eventually, she decides to move away from the city in order to find some peace in her life and hopefully a new man. She finds a job in London and here one of her colleague Paul introduces her to a Greek millionaire called Nikos. Serena and Nikos like each other. and in a few months plan to get married in india michael dickon has career has progressed as he ends up working as dsp in delhi police with a very sharp officer kabir singh kabir was raj and serena's classmate and friend in college and also loved serena When a CBI deputation leads the duo to Mumbai looking for counterfeit certificates, little do they know that they will be talking to Kim again and looking for Serena Kumar. For the conspiracy appears to be deeper than anyone could have thought of. Does the police duo unravel the mystery, find their answer and their culprits? As you can see from the storyline, the book revolves around a mysterious crime and the author does a good job of building anticipation throughout the first half. The book starts with the fire incident and then follows Serena's life for another 5 years. All the while, the reader is aware of something going on in the background and the sense of anticipation until the end of first half when you feel that little note of discovery the second half then is more of a thriller as the mystery of the crimes committed in past is revealed step by step 
and the author shows us the chain of events that led to the characters behaving as they do now. The author also gives us a few red herrings and cleverly constructed scenes to tell us part of the event, while the second part is discussed in the later half. Like Vish Tamija's other books, the characters are simply sketched and could be someone you met in real life. Raj, Terena and Kabir are good-looking, smart, well-educated and quite determined to succeed in life. They have all been lucky to have received all the tools at a young age. Quoting from the book, Nothing in later life can compensate for the lack of good education. Do not be in a hurry and repent for the rest of your life. And yet they are not all happy with their lot in life. They are keen to make more money, have a good lifestyle, visit exotic vacation destinations, party with rich and trendy people and have tons of money. The motivator for all the crimes in this book is essentially greed. When clever people become greedy, they turn to bypassing the rules and may end up very rich very quickly. But in the end, greed is never a good long-term company. Quoting from the book, Common sense tells me that rich people are happier than their poor counterpart. Greed is inversely proportional to fear. When it becomes strong, people shut themselves off to the cause of risk. But the risk don't go away. Myopia binds them to the risk. If you are clever and greedy and have access to money, then there are numerous ways to exploit the loopholes in the system. And through that, the author shows us how any system can be used to get rich quickly. But sometimes an external factor can change the way a scam operates and then that financial crime can lead to even bigger crime. There are also other likable characters in the book, especially Kim, who seem to end up the wrong end of suspect spectrum and has to make sacrifices to get out of police investigations. The author shows how being influential can sometimes be the only thing that can save you from hassles of criminal. The book is written in an easy and light manner, making it a fast-paced entertaining read. The thrill of the chase is maintained all the way to the end, and the author uses a small coincidence in the end to give us the final twist, until the mystery ends. In summary, it is an entertaining suspense thriller set in the world of financial scams of the 1990s that will provide you an interesting reading for a few hours. Thinkerview's rating would be around 7.5 stars out of 10. So, have you already read the book? Are you planning to read it? What do you think about this book review? Do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not? Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. If you have enjoyed listening to the review, please hit the like button. And do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more. Till we meet with our next podcast. Bye bye. Take care. Namaskar.